What's going on guys? Um, so today what I'm doing, slightly different video. It's basically a combined title winning 11, but it's only teams that have won the Premier League twice or more. So, um, you know, for example, Leicester or Blackburn wouldn't be in this list, but there's some great players to choose from, you know, so I'm just gonna get straight to it. You know, I hope you guys enjoy the video. You know, as you can see, I got this idea uh, on BBC Sport, I was just flicking through going on Chelsea to find some ideas of different videos to make um, and I actually just stumbled across this and I was like wow you know this is pretty cool so obviously I clicked you know I saw all the things that they had on there before um, and you know it gave me the opportunity to actually figure out oh wow I can actually build my own team and I thought that would be a great video for you guys just to sort of share like my input of you know what players I like and don't like because I maybe I have different views to you know some of you guys. Um, especially if you look at like the all-time Chelsea starting eleven, I think that's that's a pretty good squad. I mean Carvalho and Terry, possibly the greatest centre-back partnership of all time. Petacek, you don't really need to add anything onto that. Mr. Zero, as they call him. Cole Ivanovic, great. I mean, yeah, this is a great team. I mean, let's be honest. If you got, if you had these these players in your team, I mean, you're winning back-to-back -back Champions Leagues and Premier Leagues. I mean, that's not even a question. Um, but yeah, you know, I just thought this would be a good idea. Um, so you know, let's get straight into it. So obviously, we start off with you know selecting our formation. Um, right now, we've got four-three-three. Now, personally, I think this is a good formation, but. Um, you know, I want to sort of vary it up a little bit. I'm more of a, I'd say, oh, four, two, three, one. That, that's more my style. Um, a few, yeah, that, that works well for me. Pretty sure Jose played that a few times. So, you know, we've got four choices here, right? Petacek, Edison, Peter Schmeichel, and David Seaman. Now, I've heard an awful lot about Peter Schmeichel seen videos you know, a lot of people say he's like one of the greatest goalkeepers in the Premier League um, you know obviously Damon Seaman part of the Invincibles Edison probably out of all of these four the best with his feet um, you know so if you want to pass out from the back Edison's your man but for me um, I can't really look past Pet Check. I mean if you look at how we won the Champions League in 2012 he was like an integral part of that so he's a big game player no brainer for me in my opinion um, I probably wouldn't, my team probably wouldn't pass that out the back as much as some others, so maybe that's why I picked Czech. Um, but yeah, that's not really a hard one for me. And then you move on to right back, okay? Oh man, we've got a lot of options here. Um, so we have Ivanovic, um, Zalbaleta, Gary Neville. Who else do we have? I don't actually know if Tony Adams was a, was a right back or not. I think he was a centre back. Um, yeah, so I have to go through what I know as well, guys. You've got to remember, like, I wasn't, I didn't watch footballs in the late 90s. I wasn't even born yet. So <laughs> it's difficult for me to select. But obviously, you go through like what you've seen as well. Like, there's some quality players out there. But for me, I've seen, you know, I've seen Ivanovic playing. And like, what he adds to the game is so rare in a right back, in a player that's actually capable of playing as a centre back. You know, he's a big boy got a cracking shot on him he was fast strong he was a leader um you know you look at gary neville i don't think he had the the physical prowess of ivanovic the same with you know zabaleta i don't think he had the the presence although he was a leader as well as well as neville but i think Branislav ivanovic he just had the whole package so you know i'm gonna have to go with him on that one um and then we go to center back and, you know, in my opinion, the stats don't lie. Um, a lot of people talk about Virgil van Dijk, right? But if you look at a man who has better stats than Virgil van Dijk, um, it is Nemanja Vidic, you know. He's, the man is a machine, or was a machine back in the day. I mean, one of the quotes that he said, you know, he'd rather break his nose, you know, and have a clean sheet or whatever it is <laughs> then loses pride, you know. So respect to the Manu Village. Oh, right there. I'll pick him. And uh, yeah, 
By the way, I'm not being biased, guys. This is my genuine opinion, right? We've got two Chelsea players in there so far. That's just because I generally think they're better. Maybe I would have... It would be between Czech and Schmeichel for me. But in my opinion, Czech was a better goalkeeper. Um, and then, you know, in terms of what you're looking for, you know, you want a centre-back that's also going to be able to play the ball out from the back and have that tough presence. Vidic was great like that. But for me... I think John Terry was criminally underrated with the actual technical ability that he had. And for me, he was just the whole package, as well as a great leader and team player. Um, and then we move on to left back. Now, now who remembers when Ronaldo was at Man United? Okay, every time Ronaldo played, um, you know, on the right wing against Ashley Cole, he got absolutely murdered. I mean, Ashley Cole pocketed that guy like nobody's ever pocketed him before. So, in my opinion, Ashley Cole is a no-brainer, you know? Um, probably the best left-back in in Premier League history so far. I think Robertson's a pretty good left-back, but he's not been around long enough. You know, he hasn't proved himself yet. So, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put him in that category um, just yet. And then we go, oh, this is tough. Some good midfielders in there. This is really tough. Um, yeah, I mean, regards to midfielders, like, what do you want? Do you want creativity? Do you want legs? I think you want both. If I'm being honest, I think you want like the whole mixture. Um, but from sheer ability and just quality, Paul Scholes is probably one of the greatest passes the Premier League's ever seen. Um, you know, maybe not the best defensive player in the world, but my God, that guy has so much quality. Um, you can't really look past him. And then, you know, if I had to pick another midfielder to be partnered um, with Paul Scholes, you know, you'd want to have more of a physical presence. Um, and, you know, for me, it's there's, there's three players that I would have to choose between. It would be Frank Lampard, um, Angola Kante and Yaya Torre and surely because I'm looking for a physical presence in this team you know I have to go with Yaya Torre maybe he's not as good and didn't have the longevity of Lampard but I'm building this team you know as a team that's what I want to sort of highlight I'm not building this based on individuals so I would go with Yaya Torre um, in the centre of the park as well and then move on to the wingers and Perez, Beckham, and Gola Kane is not. Well, why do they put some of these players as, as right wingers? Yeah, they're, they're not. Or right midfielders. Fair enough. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, no, I think um, from what I've seen, I've seen a few highlights of um, the Arsenal Invincibles. Um, if you're just looking for oh, some quality goals scored uh, and a sheer attacking presence, I think Robert Perez going to be my right winger um or right mid it's not really a winger is it <laughs> um there's a, there's a lot of midfielders in this squad that's what i've just noticed and uh who else would i stick in there oh man i think you can't really look past oh what would i pick oh, one thing you guys got to leave down in the comments who you think like, because I've probably made a few mistakes, like, I don't even know. <laughs> um, now, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick. You know what, I'm going to go back. I'm going to change Yaya Torre with... Oh, who am I going to change him with? Oh, Kante is so good. In his prime, he was so good, but I don't think you can look... Makaleli had a little bit more to it. Oh, Makaleli was... Had, oh, he was at the top of the game for so long, and he was a good penalty taker as well. Which Kante... Um, you know, Kante doesn't take penalties. I think... Oh, yeah, I'm going to go with Makaleli. And then I'm going to put Yaya Torre in the middle here. Slightly more offensive. And then on the left side... Um, because he was actually notorious, I don't know if you guys know. Um, he played on the wing a lot for Man United, was, was David Beckham. And it's not because he was fast or you know, had great skills, it's because he whipped in some of the best crosses 
um, you know, that you'll ever see. And David Beckham, for me, um, was just a top quality player in that respect, you know, just top notch crosses. And, and you can't actually beat that. I think it's so, people don't realise how important crossing is, especially at Chelsea. Like, as soon as Rhys James came into the squad, you saw a magnificent difference compared to Asper Laqueta at right back, um, you know, because all the crosses are top notch. And then you've got the last position here, um, which is striker. Obviously, you're going to have loads of different options. Oh my god. I mean, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I've made it pretty difficult for myself, haven't I? Oh god. Maybe I chose the wrong formation. Um, right. I don't think you can look past. You know, if you're looking for. For me, I think there's. I think there's two players I'd have between Drogba and Henri. Now, I'm going to go with Henri just because I think, you know, if this was a final, if this, if I was just putting a team out to play a final, I'd put Drogba in there because Drogba scores in all the finals, doesn't he? You know what I mean? He's a big game player, but I think the sheer presence of Thierry Henri, and I think John Terry actually said the only player he's ever been scared of playing is on rate uh, and I've seen the guy play he's just a magician um, such pace he could drift into the wide areas um, great on the counter-attack you know I choose Thierry Henry myself so I'm going to confirm that team that's the one lads um, so yeah I mean I've tried not to be biased by the way you know let's make that very clear I've put one, two, three, four, five Chelsea players, three Man United players, two Arsenal players, and a Manchester City player. And I think we've got a pretty good squad. You know, we've got a lot of height, a lot of physical, um, you know, sort of presence. And then we've got, you know, more technical side to the squad as well, um, mixed in with the legs, you know, and just, I think it's a good mix. Um, yeah, but you, you let me know what you think, guys. Um, and, and also, let me know if you like the video, because um, yeah, this is just an idea I had. I thought it was quite a creative little thing. I just saw it on BBC, you know what I mean? And I just thought, well, I'll record this. <laughs> but yeah, um, we'll try and get more videos going for you guys. Um, don't worry. Um, well, I'm thinking of loads of different ideas. But hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, and thank you so much, guys. Have a good one.